In this video, we'll sketch an interior of this space. First, we need to decide where to stand and look. The 60 degree angle on this 3060 triangle represents our cone of vision. So if this is our eye or station point, we swivel the triangle and we see everything between these edges we can stand outside the room for a wider view. So let's say we're going to stand here and look at all this. Draw the edges of the triangle and then draw a line right in the center because we're looking in that direction. So this is going to be our station point and this is our cone of vision. Orient that arrow to point straight up. First, bring that interior corner down. Then draw a horizon line. And then draw a horizontal line through that interior corner. That's the picture plane. Find the vanishing points of these walls. And you do that by aligning a triangle with the walls, bracing it, and running it through the station point. And where it intersects the picture plane, that is your vanishing point. and then project the vanishing points down until they intersect with the horizon line. So here's my left vanishing point and my right vanishing point. I also want to bring the cone of vision up to the picture plane because I'll be projecting it down later. So now I'm going to measure down my eye height. This is a quarter inch scale. So I'll use a quarter inch. If my eye height is six feet, I measure down six and then from there I measure up the room height. So if that's 10, I'm going to go up 10. And this is that corner, and it's the one true length line. Then I'm going to take the top and bottom of that corner to the vanishing points. And I'll stop drawing where they reach the cone of vision. Note that I don't draw a line there, I just stop drawing there. So this wall is this wall up to here, and this wall 
is this wall up to here. Now what about the fireplace? I need to find this corner. So I'll draw a line from the station point through that point up till it hits the picture plane and straight down. And I'll do the same thing here. Then I'll take those two points to the right vanishing point. Now I have to find this corner. So again, I'll run a line from here through here up to here and then bring it down and where it hits, I take that to the left vanishing point and there's the footprint of the fireplace. Now let's say the fireplace is four feet tall. I'll measure up on the true length line four feet. And then I'll take it from the left vanishing point forward till it hits that line and then I'll bounce it off the right vanishing point until it hits a vertical line emanating from the front. And there we go. Now what about the firebox? Well, I have to find that point and that point. So I'll run this up and then bring it straight down until it hits. And then I'll run this point up to the picture plane and bring that straight down till it hits that back wall. Then I connect them. And the same thing here. As for height, let's say that the firebox is three feet high. I mark that off. See that construction line there? I take it to that construction line, bounce it forward, bounce it back, and there's the firebox height. And basically, there you have it.